what's up chargers i'm julie and i'm your girl janaya and welcome to a new day of wrsn hey janaya yeah julie i'm thinking of becoming a seminole um, you mean a Florida Seminole? No, I mean like a Seminole at FSU. Well, luckily for you, Daisy has a video for more information about your important decision. As summer quickly approaches, juniors are beginning to think about the upcoming college application season. On April 6, the Regional Admissions FSU counselor, Mallory Cotter, hosted a virtual tour of Florida State University. During this tour, she introduced students to the application and admissions process. She talked about student and campus life at FSU, along with scholarships and programs that FSU offers. Current Suncoast students were also given the opportunity to ask questions during the Q&A session. This virtual experience was a great opportunity for students to learn more about colleges they might be interested in applying to and widen their options to future schools because of the pause on in-person tours due to the pandemic. This has been Daisy reporting for WRSN, now back to the studio. Thanks, Daisy. I think for sure I know I want to be a Seminole. For the charges that you have important tests coming up during the year. I know, but I'm not sure how to prepare. Well, let's see what other students are doing to prepare for their tests at the end of the year. Hi, my name is Matthew Lind, and the main way I'm working on studying for my AP exams is by working with friends, doing review packets, and getting teachers' help whenever I need it. AP exams, I'm going to order Princeton review books off of Amazon. And I'm also going to go look back at my old notes and rewatch some lessons that I didn't like fully understand. And if I have any other questions, I'm just going to be emailing my teachers. Um, what I'm going to try and do to prepare for the AP exams or the exams in general this year is to go on like Khan Academy and uh, just probably just review with friends too. Wow, thanks for that video, Julie. No problem. Hey, Janaya. I'm in the mood for a nice cold smoothie, but I don't want to go all the way to tropical smoothie. You're in luck. Let's check out this next video on how to make a fresh, nice, cold, homemade smoothie. So right now, you'll see me opening the coconut water because it wasn't open before. And I'll just be pouring it in the blender to about a 400. So you'll be able to use about a quarter of the coconut water. That should be good. And it should be enough liquid from the coconut water to suffice the smoothie for it to be thick and creamy. Now I'm just going to put the yogurt in the blender. Yogurt is completely optional. If you want a little bit more of the creaminess or whatever, you can put yogurt in there and why not? And I'm using peach because I use pineapple and strawberry already. So I'm like, you know, why not? Something different. So now I'm getting out as much of the yogurt as I can. And next we're just going to blend it. Also, when blending, don't forget to keep your hand, hold your hand on top of the blender because it will splatter everywhere if you're not holding the blender. Wow, Janaya, that was a great video. I'm going to go make one right now. Thanks, but, um, Julie? Yeah? We still have to finish the show. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Anastasia Gogolishvili is an ambitious and hardworking student at Suncoast High School. She strives to do her very best, and that may even include finding a new sport to play. Recently, she felt as if she needed an activity to keep her moving and active, resulting in her trying out for the lacrosse team. So the reason why I wanted to try new sports was because... I just needed extra activities to do besides working and staying at, working like my schoolwork and being at home. And I love like activities, like physical activities, sports. Among Anastasia's newfound love for the cross, she has also participated in other activities and played other sports in the past. I played gymnastics and I really enjoy gymnastics. I played for like 10 years or so and it was really enjoyable. I made a lot of friends when I used to go to practice 
and it's just like a sport that I will always love. Gymnastics was not only a hobby or activity for her, but it also taught her a lot and helped her learn new skills. I, got, I get a lot of my flexibility from gymnastics and it has really helped me with phys like physical activities and my like stamina. Although Anastasia only recently started playing lacrosse, there are a few things or activities within the sport that she enjoys doing. I don't think I have, I don't know like if I have a favorite part right now since I just started playing it, but you like have to run a lot and I like running and I like defense and I like throwing the ball and catching it. I'm looking forward to like playing um, basketball for the next three years and I have to see look, if I want to do lacrosse still, like if I enjoy it this year. Dedication and hard work will bring you amazing opportunities that will shape you for the better in the future. I'm Samantha Payton, signing off for WRSN. Now let's wish the following Chargers a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chargers. This has been your girl, Janaya. And Juliana. See you next time on WRSN. Have a good day, Chargers.